four, two, one triplet variations. So this is four, two, one format. So it means we're going to do each variation four times and repeat, then two times and repeat, and then we're going to do it one time. The repeat is built in to the one time. Um, so there's technically no repeats, but you are repeating. So we move on from a more of a triplet flow and teaching flow in our, in our hands. Then we go to a triplet timing sequence, which is based on two note variations. And then we go to the triplet single accent shift. Then we're going to add, start adding in some single drags and then some five stroke rolls. So all these are in the same format. So um, let's just go one at a time and maybe go over some brief things that you should be looking into or variations on top of these that you can do. Okay, so triplet flow. So obviously when you're doing a triplet check, you have the right hand and left hand. And both should always be constantly moving. Okay, so no downstrokes, okay, until we get to the last note. So only a few downstrokes occur here. The last left before the flowing right or the last right before the flowing left. Uh, and then the last note of the whole thing. But basically when your hand is moving, until it gets to a pause, it should be constantly moving and flowing. It should be feeling the vibration of the stick and the rebound from the drum and just totally relaxed. Uh, matching heights is really good here. Make sure flowing hands aren't increasing or decreasing in heights. Everything's the same height. And making sure that there's no hesitation in your timing whatsoever. So we have the first variation is just right hand flow. Super easy. Left hand flow is the second variation. And then the third variation is we're getting ready for our two note value flows, which is going to have kind of a flow hand to another flow hand. So flow, down flow, down flow, down flow, down flow. Make sure that down is not too down. It's just enough to stop the stick. Okay? But there should be a very fluid stroke between hands there. That's basically it. Triple up flow 16. So triplet timing. Again, we have our check flow, setting up your vibration of the stick and relaxed stroke and legato stroke. When we get to these two note variations, they should all feel just like the third variation of triplet flow. One, two, where you're having this nice fluid right hand to left hand exchange. And technically, the, th the third one's exactly the same, um, but it's the easiest conceptually to understand. So when we get to the one two. One two, one two, one two, one two. Technically, if you do that long enough, it turns into one three, one three, one three. So it's the same idea, okay? And then when we get to the second variation, two two three, rest two three, two three, two three. Again, all that is is one three, one three, right? It's just how you think about it. The thing you should direct your attention to is the last eighth note before rest should not be a downstroke, okay? You should be flowing into it. So the first measure into the first variation kind of takes care of it because it goes over the bar line with its triplets. But the third measure to the fourth measure to the second variation, your last left is at the bar line. So you're going to want to add this downstroke where your left hand should continue to flow. So measure three, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. That left should not downstroke. Let it flow so that it gets to the rest two, three, two, three in a flowing manner. Okay. And there's your five to six which takes us into the third variation, goes over the bar line and we should, it should be pretty easy to flow from there. Okay? So again, keep, keep in mind not to downstroke the last eighth note before it rests um, because usually it should be a flowing hand. Okay, so the last thing you should think about in, on the ones is right hand flow. Triple it, triple it, triple it, pull it, triple it. Um, that right hand continues through the first measure and a half of all that. 
triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, then it stops while the left hand flows. Okay, so that's just something you should think about. And then, just because you can doesn't mean you should. At the end there, your right hand stops, one, three, one, before you repeat or you finish. You have all this extra time, so just because you can doesn't mean you should lift the right extra high. Three and one, and slam the last one. Bom, bom, bom. Try to make a smooth lift, and then just the same height, same weight. Don't change the color on the last note. Triple at time, 16. Okay, triple accent shift. Now we're going to start shifting these accents on the variations to the different single partial accents. Okay, uh, so these will be downstrokes, but just like we learned in 8816, we don't want to add extra velocity to accents. Just play the height, right? We should be playing the check at three inches and then all inner beats at three inches as well. So it's another good place to check your three inch height so that they're not getting too high. I've noticed in some of my videos, my three inch heights are a little bit too high. So I'm going to try to really work on that right now. Triple it, single accent shift, 16 and three. Going on to triplet accent shift drags. So this is where we can start having a lot of different height variations and a lot of other variations that we can add in. So I just wrote it with accents and then just the drags itself. So technically you should stay at three inches for the variations. In some ways that's the hardest one because it's so low. Okay, and all these drags are trying to be to have perfect timing but also perfect interpretation. Make sure it's a 16th note duration. Okay. You could also play this with accents on the on the drags. Okay. All right, you could also do this with the accents, stay on the downbeat on variation and check. Accents on the drags and then keep it on the downbeat. because I think you can hear when the drags are early, which is what we're trying to fight. We want the perfect interpretation. You could also play these with drags uh, up. Right? Uh, you could do this where inner beats are not at three. If we have a part in the show where we're trying to work on seven inch inner beats. Okay. But I'm just going to stick with 16 and three, even on the variations, because... I think that's the hardest one and I think we could really work on our lower inner beat heights. So let's just try the hardest one and try to really perfect that and the other one should be easy. So I'm going to play as written. Triple accent single drags 16 and 3.
Okay, triplet accent, five stroke rolls. Same variations can apply here. You can play normal, where it's just three inches. Okay, you could do accents on the first drags. You could keep the accents on the downbeats. Okay, um, and then you could change the heights. Or we could do inner beats at seven. So there's a lot of variations, but we're gonna play as written 16-3 to really work on our low heights. All right, as I'm playing through this, I think the hardest variation is the tap fives. That diga 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 accent. So you're gonna want to lift that right hand on that drag. It's gonna be here instead of. So make sure there's a big stark difference before the accent. Low low accent. Don't give it away.